This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to the Lake Michigan port of Algoma, Wisconsin, where we get to join Outdoor Bound TV girls Emily, Megan, and McKenna for a day of salmon fishing aboard the Grand Illusion 2 charter boat with Captain Lee Hosh. These young ladies are not only successful sportswomen with many trophy fish and wildlife already to their credit, but successful role models for women living the outdoor lifestyle. Awesome boy. That was a dandy. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Brew Pub Pizza, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Colby Chrysler Center. This mineral is a game changer. I've put the odds in my favor. It's time to close the deal. I wouldn't change a thing. Finally, the buck of a lifetime. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Available at your local Triggs grocery store. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. When winter weather makes driving difficult, fight back with a newer pre-owned vehicle from Colby Chrysler. Isn't it time you test drive the Ram 1500 Voter Motor Trends Truck of the Year not once, but twice? That's right, twice. It's just a short drive to Colby to check out our new and used selection of four-wheel drive vehicles to help you tackle winter's toughest driving conditions. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. You know, if you've ever visited the Outdoor Bound TV booth at one of the sports shows around the Midwest, chances are you've met one of our Outdoor Bound TV girls. Now these gals are not only great spokeswomen for the show, but they're great ambassadors for the hunting, fishing, and outdoor lifestyle that we all enjoy. On this week's show, you'll get a chance to meet three of these young ladies as they head out on the Lake Michigan for a day of salmon fishing aboard the Grand Illusion 2 charter boat with our good friend and pro staff member, Captain Lee Hosh. I think after this show, you'll agree that these gals are more than just a pretty face. Let's head to the port of Algoma, Wisconsin right now. We arrived in Algoma and my first glimpse at the boat, uh, I just realized it was a huge boat, it was bigger than I expected. I really liked how accommodating they were um, when we took off. Andrew was setting the rods for us and helping us out in every way that he could. We headed out for about two miles out and I just kind of sat back and watched in awe because it's again not something that I've ever experienced before. So you don't have to be like a die-hard fisherman to go out. It's not intimidating at all. So 
So those two arcs right there are fish? Yep. Alright, and then those are the downriggers? Yep. Alright, so there's one, two, three, three fish on the screen right now. <laughs> now we wait. <laughs> we'll get hooked up. <laughs> Hi, my name is Emily and I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin. I've been an outdoor bound TV girl for about two years now. I grew up in northern Wisconsin around Three Lakes, Eagle River area, and I've been hunting and fishing pretty much my entire life, uh, fishing since I was a little kid. I started bow hunting around the age that you could start to hunt. That's pretty much my biggest passion is bow hunting right now. I've shot six or seven deer so far. I shot a bear. Um, I fish a lot. I've caught a 49 and an eighth inch muskie, was my biggest muskie that I caught. And I actually recently went down to Florida, went bow fishing for stingray and sheep's head, which was really fun. I haven't caught any salmon before. I haven't really been fishing out on Lake Michigan at all, so I'm really pumped about it. Woo! Oh, there we go, we got him! Woohoo! All right! Yeah! Nice work! Woo! Oh, he was bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> All right. There you go. You put your finger underneath here. We're fishing out of Algoma on Lake Michigan with Lee Hosh. Caught my first steelhead with him. Nice. <laughs> Did a fine job. Thank Excellent. you. It smacked the moonshine spoon 80 feet out on the outrigger off a slide diver. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Must have jumped about seven, eight times, huh? Yeah, quite a few times. Beautiful. Any women that are in might be intimidated by going out there and having to reel in this big fish, I mean, I don't really have big muscles, so I'm sure you can all do it too. <laughs> all right, you guys are up. I would definitely do it again, recommend it to anybody. Woo! <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan. I'm from Eagle River, Wisconsin. I've been an outdoor bound TV girl for about two years now, and I really enjoy just getting out and talking to people and hearing their stories from the outdoors and sharing mine with them. So I've been involved in the outdoors for as long as I can remember. My family takes a yearly hunting trip to Montana, and it's great to get out in the duck blind and just not worry about anything else and have some quality time. One of the other things I really enjoy is muskie fishing. Growing up in Vilas County, I've had the opportunity to fish some awesome lakes for muskies. I was involved with Muskie League and I fished a few tournaments. I'm still searching to put a 50 on the board, so hopefully this summer I can cash in on that. We're out here on Lake Michigan with Captain Lee Hosh. Emily just reeled in a nice steelhead. I'm up next. Um, little rainy start to the day, but it's turning out to be a good day. Fish on! All right, we just hooked up. He's really far back there, so I'll have some sore arms by the time I'm done. <laughs> this one came off the inside planer board. <laughs> Why does he keep running? It's fine, it's a nice fish. No, swim to me. Yeah, Megan. He's running. Looks like yours is going to be mine. It's going to be a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Captain Lee putting us on the fish. It's a good sized fish. All right. Oh, no. Arms are getting a little sore. You got a long way to go. <laughs> 506. 506. <laughs> Oh, they're burning! They're burning! <laughs> He's running again! <laughs> right back where we started. <laughs> this is normally where we pass out Snickers bars because we're not going anywhere for a No, while. and I'm, I'm going to be turning into a diva here soon if I don't get a Snickers. <laughs> popcorn for the show. <laughs> so Andrew handed me the rod and I started reeling and reeling and reeling and I'm watching the line counter and just when I see the light at the end of the tunnel the fish would make another run and peel all the line out again and my arms were getting a little bit sore but slow and steady 
No, he's still got some life left into him. <laughs> He's running. She keeps taking yeah. line. Yeah, he does. Only 280 more feet to go. <laughs> Burn, baby. <laughs> oh, there he's going. He's running again. Oh, oh he he's just gone. he's just jumped back there. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> you can see the board coming up now. It started out rainy, miserable day, and it cleared up and calmed down out here and turned out to be an awesome afternoon for salmon fishing. We've got about 80 feet to go yet. He keeps running on us. Hey. <laughs> Burn him out. <laughs> we'll see if we'll tire him out or if he's going to run on us again. He's, he's starting to come up back there. Yep. We got a monster. <laughs> he's staying down. He doesn't want to come up. How are your arms feeling? Oh, they're feeling lovely. <laughs> like they're on fire. <laughs> Not only was it fun to catch the fish, but I'm just thinking how I'm going to prepare them when I take them home. We get this whole bag of fillets to take home, and it's just a very rewarding feeling. <laughs> awesome day! <laughs> Woo! Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Rapala, Suffix, VMC, and Otter Outdoors. Hey, you remember when we were hanging out last night? You know, me, you, Gail. That's my girl. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And then you went to bed. I was tired. You were super tired. And then it was just me and Gail. Mm-hmm. Uh, alone. Ah! What? Oh, oh, yeah! It's all in the paws. New Shadow Rap from Rapala. I want to say something when I see land. Something all the pirates after me can say when they see land. Arr. How about I see a landmass approaching on the horizon? Punchier! More gravitas! Okay, well, how about land ho? I'm liking it! Always use the best line, suffix 832. Anything? Not a sniff. You? Nothing. Hey, Ike. What am I doing wrong? Hey, man. Try some of these new VMC flipping hooks. They're perfect for pulling big bass out of heavy cover. Thanks, Ike. You're welcome. It's got an epoxy keeper bar for keeping the plastics on there, and you gotta flip it in the cabin. And set the hook! Set the hook hard! You gotta get him out of there! Get him out! And set the hook real well, big! Get him out of there! Get him out of there! You got him! You got him! I can't say anything! The new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter feature a new look and unmatched protection from the elements. The fully insulated Pro XT 1200 features a 1200 denier shell built for extreme conditions, while the Thermal Top XT 650 features a 650 denier shell that locks in heat and eliminates condensation. All Extreme Thermal Shelters are built on Otter's legendary roto-molded sled and proven oversized square tube frames. The all-new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter, built tougher, stronger, smarter. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos.
Now, before we left you for the break, Outdoor Bound TV girls Emily and Megan had put some pretty nice salmon in the boat. Let's head back to Lake Michigan and meet McKenna, the third of our Outdoor Bound TV girl trio, and see how they're doing out on Lake Michigan. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> I'm McKenna, and I've been an Outdoor Bound TV girl for the past four years. Um, I'm a senior at UW-Madison. I started hunting at an early age, harvesting my first white-tailed deer when I was 12 years old, and harvesting a turkey not long after that. I've continued hunting since then and harvested a few other deer, and it's something that I'm very passionate about and I'm excited to continue doing. What I like most about being an Outdoor Bound TV girl is being able to interact with youth that are just as passionate about the outdoors as I am, and really getting them excited about hunting and fishing. So this was my first opportunity to go salmon fishing on Lake Michigan. We left out of the port um, in Algoma on the Grand Illusion 2 with Captain Lee Hosh. And after waiting a little bit um, for some rough weather, we got out on the boat and headed on out. Not what I was expecting at all. It had a bathroom, it had a flybridge up top, and it was a lot larger than anything I had expected and a lot kind of more luxurious than anything I had expected. So after we left port, it was about a 15-20 minute ride until where we were going to fish. Um, you know, once we got out there, our first mate Andrew and Captain Lee Hosh got us set up with our downriggers and our planer boards. We were fishing with spoons and rapalas. We were sitting back trolling, just waiting to hear Captain Lee let us know that fish was on. Here we go! Go on, Hannah! 217. Nice fish. All right, McKenna. Nice fish. And after I started reeling in, another fish caught on one of the downriggers. So Emily hopped in and she's reeling with me and we're just kind of cheering each other on and trying to reel these suckers in as fast as we can. Moving a lot. I'm oh heck with there's about 500 feet. This is only 180. No, 267. I don't know, I'm feeling a bird. <laughs> I'm feeling a bird. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened here is we got the first one on the downrigger. We were trolling a little bit fast because we're going with the current in order to get the bait action. And because we were going a little fast, I went and I slowed the boat down a little. How far are you on? Here's another one. <laughs> Three for three! Woo! Oh, get him in! Oh, well, that one yep. fell off, but... Woo! <laughs> My goodness! What generated that Man. second strike and the third strike, I, I just changed our speed a little bit, slowed it down a little bit to get her fish in, and, and by doing that, <laughs> the flash fly on that one just changed its action just a little bit. The fish were following it. Back. And now we're busy. And now we're busy. Right. Woo! Em, you want to take a selfie? <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, we're down to two digits. Not. Oh my God, mine's just getting worse. <laughs> it's bad. It's tiring. Tiring. Love it. <laughs> it's a good tiring. Good workout. We won't be hungry tonight. <laughs> Thanks to our awesome guide, Captain Lee. Captain Lee, hooking us up. <laughs> oh my God! Woo! Look at that. Oh. Nice fish. Nice, Em. All right, Em. <sighs> so we'll let him fight the rod. Woo! The rod up. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, Woo! Nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my arm! Out. There you go, keep fighting them. Let's go, McKenna! Em, <laughs> yeah, you gotta just make us some... <laughs> All right! I'm gonna get it. better hit the gym after this. All right. Woo! 
Alright. Yeah, I am. I was watching McKenna oh reeling her fish, all of a sudden another line started buzzing. That was put a lot bigger fight than a muskie. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, Lee. Oh, you bet. You rock. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I gotta throw him in here. Oh, pair of tanks in there. All right. All right. Keep coming, Kevin. Don't get your two rolling. He's coming. He's getting tired now. <laughs> so am so I. It's always a challenge which one gets tired first. So I look down, and the line counter is telling me that I'm not making any progress and I feel like I've been reeling and reeling and reeling and your adrenaline is still pumping but eventually that fatigue sets in and you've still got a long ways to go and actually what surprised me is that my arm to stabilize the reel was the one that was getting extremely tired after a while after just reeling and reeling and reeling. Still at 2.30. That's what we're looking at. Definitely getting tired. You got it girl. Yeah. Nice, you see him there? Yep. Fishing out of Algoma, Wisconsin, out here on Lake Michigan, on the Grand Illusion 2 with Captain Lee. Just working on getting one of these guys in. Not bad for just a short couple hours fishing. Still got spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. on this one? Oh, well, yeah, that's fine. You're, you're yeah. back. You're back way further than her, So we're getting there. Looking at 108. Getting him in finally. Down to 45. He's got a little life left. salmon. Gotta relax my forearm a bit. Ooh, my legs are shaky. We're out here in Algoma, Wisconsin on Lake Michigan with Captain Lee Hosh. Got him on the downrigger. He yeah. went out about 350 feet, reeled him in, took about 10, 10, 15 minutes. So kind of tired, but definitely worth it. Oh, beautiful fish. Caught that one on a flasher and fly on a Howie fly. And we were running that down around uh, nine, about 80 feet down, so, yep. My first salmon. Right at dusk. <laughs> it kind of went nuts a little bit. We had like four hits here in a real short period of time, so. Fun time. Oh, bye-bye, TG. Ooh, it sounds like a lot, but <laughs> do, you want, do you want it on? All right, good job. Toss her in. I'm out here for my first time here in Algoma, out on Lake Michigan. Actually, my first time here fishing on Lake Michigan ever with Lee Hosh. Um, having an incredible time, way better than I even thought it would be. Uh, caught two huge fish. Can't feel my arms now. Awesome. Love it. I could do this all night. <laughs> yeah, right at dusk here. We had, it started off with a, with a hit on this center downrigger and you got a nice king in. Uh, we slowed the boat down a little bit. We had three more bites, got a, got a couple more fish, and uh, got this one back down in the water. It wasn't five minutes here. We were just getting ready to call her quits for the for the evening and pull one off again. You ready, to, ready to do battle again? Ready, I'm ready to go All right, right away. <laughs> Great, we ended up waiting a little bit. We had some rain earlier and uh, waited till the rain stopped and came out here. So we only had a few hours, short hours to fish, but it's been pretty productive. Definitely this last hour here, we've been catching up. Very busy, yeah. We had a few bites before that, and uh, as soon as it uh, got to be dusk, even though it's been overcast all day, uh, it turned out to be very good. So it's my first time salmon fishing, my first time out on Lake Michigan, um, salmon fishing, and fought a little seasickness, but hey, the adrenaline of <laughs> reeling one in definitely threw that off for me, and back to back, and we're right back at it. So it's been an exciting afternoon and I'm ready to keep going. We've had an awesome day fishing out here on Lake Michigan. We're fishing out of Algoma, Wisconsin with 
Lee Hosh from Hosh Guide Service. If you're interested in contacting Captain Lee Hosh, please look at the information on the screen. We had an incredible time. You will not be disappointed. Kick Salmon Rock! Woo! Woo! Best, best <laughs> Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission, HHA Sports, Titanium Tip Stick, and Roo Motors. This is my life, the weekend warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for optimizer at a dealer near you. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jigging or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name. But when we did, boy, we nailed it. Hi, I'm Tim Rue from Rue Motors. Whether work or play, we have the Kubota RTV for you. Rue Motors has been serving central Wisconsin since 1947 with a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Backed by four generations, you can count on the staff at Rue Motors for outstanding sales and service on all of your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Rue Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Burnhamwood or Anigo. Product and promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. Well, I think you'll probably agree after watching this show that the Outdoor Bound TV girls are not just your average pretty face, but pretty accomplished sportswomen in their own right. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. I haven't even caught a fish yet. I'm having fun. <laughs> Would you get that thing out right out of my face? That's what you do when you fish. Hi, I'm out. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Should I try that again? One more time. <laughs> <laughs> After these nuts, this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Two years. All right, ready? Did I say that right? Okay, yep. I only watch Outdoor Bound TV. Sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs>